Bro, like on God, this man, Vegeta, should have just left Cell alone. Because, dude, as soon as Cell went perfect, it was over for this man. It was wraps. Like, dude, before this, when Cell wasn't perfect, Vegeta was putting the absolute beats on him, right? But then, dude, as soon as he allowed Cell to, you know, become perfect, that's when Cell put the perfect ass whooping on this nigga. It was so bad for him after this. Dude, in fact, after this, he doesn't take another W until the Majin Buu saga. That's tough. This is a perfect example of biting off more than you can chew. This man Vegeta should have just looked at Cell and be like, nah, fuck this shit, bro. I am not that guy. And he should have flew away. But no, what did he do, bro? He talked even more shit. And then he got his ass beat even harder, bro. This man got his back broken by the end of the fight. Pause. Like, it was bad for our man. Like, he could not do anything against this man's cell. It's almost as bad as when he fought Kid Buu. Almost. And unlike his fight with Kid Buu, this is actually his fault why he's getting fucked up. This man was talking the most shit, and then Cell was like, alright, fine, let me become perfect. And so this man, Vegeta, literally fought his own son so that Cell can become perfect. And then when Cell became perfect, he showed him why he fucked up, man. Like, dude, this man should have seen what he did to Krillin. And he should have said, nah, fuck that shit. I am not trying to get laid out like this bald ass nigga just did. Fuck that. Let me get out of here. No. What did this man do? He charged that Cell and he literally got countered, bro. Like, that should have been the first thing that told him, like, bro, I'm no match for this. Let me dip. No, bro. He just kept going and kept going. It's actually crazy. Like, watching this fight gave me deja vu of when Frieza fought Vegeta. Because if you recall in that fight, when Frieza showed his final form, that's when all the shit talking went out the window, right? Well, same with this, dude. As soon as Cell went perfect, all that shit talking went right out the fucking window. And like I said, dude, by the end of this fight, this man got his back broken by Cell. Dude, how do you get so fucked up in a fight that you get your back broken? That's tough. Like, dude, I just can't with this man Cell, dude. He was literally running around the battlefield just having fun while this man Vegeta was trying his hardest to just hit him and do anything. He was actually having fun while doing this. Like, dude, like he said, though, this was just a warm-up, and Vegeta was just the warm-up, and he was soon about to see why he was the warm-up. Like, he was making this man look crazy, bro. He was making him punch the fucking air, thinking he was punching Cell, but then when, dude, when he actually kicked, he kicked air. He had this man looking like a crackhead on the street, like he was fighting his demons or some shit. Like, dude, why the fuck did he not run away from this man? Dude, if I saw Cell doing all this me personally dude i would have said fuck this i'm out like dude i just know this man vegeta's ego was hurt as fuck that day dude like dude he dude the entire android saga was just vegeta talking shit to everybody bro like man as soon as he unlocked super saiyan he thought he was the shit right and then dude he just had to keep being shown why he's not the shit, why he's just simply not that guy, right? Like, dude, he just cannot catch a break, you know? But as sad as that is, we still gotta talk about the fucking L, bro. Like, dude, just look at this fucking scene right here. Just look at how this man's cell broke his back, pause. Dude, look at his face, man. His whole fucking art style changed. He got hit so hard, his whole art style changed. That's tough. Like, dude, it got so bad that this dude had to pull out a new move, bro. This is the first time we see the final flash. And look, I'll say this, you know, the final flash is really awesome. But the fact that the first time it's shown, it didn't really do shit kind of takes away from it being cool, if you ask me. Like, I don't know, you know, but he used that move on Cell and then Cell's like, ah, it's like thought you got me and then he says nope that didn't do shit and then after this i'm sure it's easy to guess that vegeta just knew that he was not doing shit to this man like not a damn thing 
And so he kind of just, you know, gave up. He was like, damn, like, I just used my most powerful technique on this man and it did nothing, bro. Like, dude, it is raps for me. Like, dude, this man fired a whole bunch of energy blasts at this man's cell, and he just walked right through that shit, bro. It did literally nothing to him. He walked right through it, and he walked up to this man, and he punched him in the face, bro. Like, that did nothing. And then after this is where we get the famous scene of Vegeta getting his fucking back broken, like he's in a fucking hardcore porn movie and shit, like dude it was i don't know what this man thought he was doing during this fight but it obviously was not working out for him whatever he tried to do this man got his back broken so hard that it knocked the super saiyan out of him bro like dude when he landed on the floor his hair turned black again this man gave up after that and honestly dude i would have not even fought this n i would have dude me personally, man, I would have said, hey, Trunks, we're getting the fuck out of here. And we would have dipped. We are not fighting this thing. Fuck no. But no. What did he do? He stayed and fought and he took yet another L. Great. And that's actually the end of their fight, obviously, right? I mean, there's not shit he's doing after this. And so after this, Trunks starts to fight Cell, but I'm not going to talk about that. But for now if you did like the video please like and subscribe because i like making these videos and i can tell that you guys like these videos so please like and subscribe and let me know what other video topics you want me to talk about and i will do my best to talk about them but in the meantime i will see you guys later thank you for liking my content peace